good morning student today we will continue the chapter periodic table classification of uh, element periodic okay and the topic is a modern periodic table that is long form of periodic table uh, the sign in 1913 uh, henry mosley showed that the atomic number of an element is a more fundamental property atomic number is the number of proton uh, in the nucleus of an atom as you know and this number increased by one in going from one element to the next okay uh, so the scientist observed that many of the defects of the mendeleev uh, original table can be removed by the rearranging elements on the basis of the atomic number this led mosley to change the basis of the classification of element from atomic weight to atomic number okay the scientist henry mosley change uh, uh, change the atomic weight to atomic number okay so the modern periodic law uh, is given by the mosley is given by the mosley okay okay so according to this law uh, the physical and the chemical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic number okay that is if elements are arranged in order of their atomic numbers similar elements are repeated after a regular interval okay. repetition of the similar uh, properties and the similar electronic configuration are called the periodicity in properties as well as the electronic configuration uh, elements having the similar electronic configuration have the similar chemical properties okay okay so if the elements are arranged in order to their atomic number similar elements are repeated after regular interval original periodic table was modified on the basis of the modern periodic law okay. and and a new group that is group o was added for inert gases and the position of the rare earth and the uh, antinites uh, elements are given as you know the atomic numbers and the electronic configuration of the elements as you shown in this table okay atomic number as you know the atomic number uh, lithium is 3 and the electronic configuration of the lithium is 2 1 okay and the atomic number uh, uh, 4 5 as you know the atomic number of sodium that is Na and the electron electronic configuration of the sodium is 2 8 1 2 8 2 2 8 3 2 8 4 2 8 5 and 2 8 6 and 2 8 7 as you know the upper elements that is lithium barium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen and fluorine okay the outer orbits have the same number of uh, electron that is electrovalence okay as you know so the silent features of the Mendeleev modern periodic table uh, represented or the typical elements okay uh, as you know uh, the element of the period second and thirds are called the typical or the representative elements and that is yes okay. that is known as typical elements Lithium and sodium are the typical element of group A 
and B, E and M, G are the typical element of second group. Okay, and the diagonal relationship. It is the one of the most important property of this modern periodic table, and the the uh, the first uh, the first three members of the second periodic uh, periods uh, shows the similarities with the member of their own group and with the elements diagonally placed in the higher groups. This resemble is called the diagonal relationship. Okay, as you know, yes. Yes, I repeat, uh, the first three members of the second period shows the similarities with the member of their own groups and with the elements diagonally placed in the higher groups. This resembles is called the diagonal relationship, group second and group third. and the bridge elements uh, in the third periodic elements of the group uh, 1 to 7 are called the bridge element uh, these elements act at a bridge between the elements of subgroup a and b as you know a uh, bridge element shows the almost the similar properties of the elements in their group first a first b first a first b and the second a and second b mg bridge element and either na is the bridge element okay and the normal normal elements normal elements uh, those elements which have the most similar with the property of the bridge elements are called the normal elements elements of the subgroups a are the normal elements and after that that is the transition elements okay The elements uh, which have the least similarities with that of the bridge elements are called the transition elements. Uh, elements of the groups A and the elements of all the subgroups B are called the transition elements. Uh, those elements which have the last electron uh, enters into the D subshell are called the transition elements. That is the D block elements. Okay. D block elements is known as the transition elements. Okay. Inert inner transition elements. Uh, there are the two series of inner transition elements and the Atomic weight have the 58 to 71 are called the uh, lanthanide series or the lanthanoids or the rare earth elements. As, and the elements with the atomic number 90 to 109 are called the actinide series or actinoids. Periodically in the electronic conjugation and the chemical properties. Uh, atomic number of the lithium as you know atom, atomic number of lithium is 3. And its electronic configuration is 2 is to 1. Thus, the helium uh, lithium uh, atom have one valence electron. So, uh, they are proceed from lithium to neon, uh, the atomic number as well as the number of valence electron increase by 1 from one element to the next. Okay. So, the atomic number of the neon is 10. Its atomic configuration is 2 is to 8. Uh, the next atomic have the 11 and that is a sodium. And its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. And it has 
one valence electron so the electronic configuration of lithium and sodium is similar both have the valence electron one and uh, they have the similar chemical property so uh, this type of repetition is similar to electronic configuration and it is called the periodic of elements the position of uh, elements in the modern periodic table okay uh, some other uh, um, uh, uh, scientists rang warner berry etc prepared the modern periodic table and it is also known as the long form of the periodic table or the bohr's periodic table okay uh, it is the also called the extant form of periodic table okay yes modern periodic table long form of modern long form of table and the long form of the periodic table uh, the long form of the periodic table is based upon the fact that the physical and the chemical property of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic number and the long form of the periodic table consists of seven horizontal rows it is called the periods and the 18 vertical columns called the groups okay uh, the long form of the periodic table is closely associated with the electronic configuration of elements as you know uh, a period begins with the fillings of a particular shell and the ends only when the shell is complete according to the bohr's bury scheme so the elements of the first elements have only k shell within one accommodate at the maximum two electrons so the first periods have uh, two elements and that is hydrogen and helium okay and the elements of the second period contain the k and l okay uh, k and l and uh, uh, in this table uh, uh, second period have the eight at, uh, elements from lithium to neon it is important to know that the elements of the same periods have the same number of shell and the the elements of the third period contain k l m k l m okay and in this group uh, sodium magnesium aluminium etc and these uh, all these elements have the k l and m shell with their occupied by element similarity is the elements of the four groups contain the k l m and n shell okay. each period have a new electron shell occupied by the electron the fifth and the sixth periods have the five shell and the six shell uh, respectively that are that are okay and that are occupied uh, by the elements first periods contain two elements and the second periods contain eight elements and third periods also contain eight elements and the fourth periods contain 18 elements fifth period also contain 18 elements and the sixth period contain 32 elements and seventh period also contain the 32 elements okay and the groups okay and the vertical uh, columns uh, are called the uh, groups and uh, 18 vertical columns okay it have the 18 vertical columns uh, group 1 and 2 are on the left side uh, and the group elements of the group they do not have the that is a different types of element the elements of the group 1, 2 and these elements of group 13 to 17 are called the normal elements. Okay. The elements of the group 18 is called the noble gases or the inert gas. 
and the elements of the group 3rd to 12th are called the transition elements okay the elements having the atomic number 58 to 71 is called the uh, lanthanoids or the elements and the elements having 90 to the 103 are called the actinoids elements all the elements in a group have the similar atomic configuration Yes. The elements of group 1 and elements of the group 1st to 12 are all the metals. Group 13 to 17 contain the metals, non-metals and the metalloids. Elements of the group 18 are called, are called, group 18 uh, are called uh, the noble gases and they have the non-metals. And these are called the electronic configuration and the number of the